Well, I used these uh, milk carton, orange juice cartons last year, and uh, after we uh, planted the tomatoes, we put them in this bag and tied the top off. And now I just have to sort through them and get the names, put them in the carts, take some potting soil, which I brought outside to do. And plant these tomatoes, which are really poor looking because ever since I put these out several weeks ago or two weeks or more ago, I don't know the date, it has had three sunny days. It has been cloudy and rainy. They've gotten spindly. I can't pour the water at the trays enough. I had it here with that uh, wire cage around it with a lid on it and a tarp over top of it during the rain. And the other night the storm came in here and blew them all over. And some of them are getting nice purple stems. And when you look at it, and I've got a few in the green ice, those are the Rutger seeds. And I've got these, and it's 36 in a tray. I don't need but like 40 couple plants, so I'll just pick the healthiest ones out and plant them. And we've been saving these, and uh, you notice they don't have holes in the bottom yet, because I'll probably mark these at Rutgers. I put these marigolds over here in the sun because they're just soaked, saturated. And I just cut the tops off since my tomatoes are a little leggy. Instead of cutting it at there, I cut it all the way at the very top because I can put that much plant in there, put a little, maybe an inch and a half, two inches of soil in the bottom, stick that whole plant down in there. Hopefully the sun will dry them out a little bit so I can get them out those six packs, fill that up with soil, and I will have a nice healthy plant on the top even though it's leggy. Uh, tomato plants are the only thing that I know of that you can do this way when they get leggy. Everything else pretty much won't produce really quality or edible fruit. Now I just have to do it. Well, this is what they looked like before they got beat down by the rain and the winds the other night during the storm, even with the tarp on top of them. And this is what you, they look like when you put them in these juice and milk cartons. Obviously, we drink more juice than we do milk. And they're my marigolds. Well, since I was out of my potting soil, I've been working on the top of the compost in my old, my old sifter that one of these days it's going to fall apart on me. And there's the Pro Mix, which is sphagnum moss and a few other little things. And I, uh easiest way to do it is put uh, like three shovels full of compost in there and about two and a half shovelfuls of Pro Mix and sift it all out and put it in a trash can. 